Uh, hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, Spider Milk here, and welcome back to the video. Today we'll be talking about about uh, Beastars. stars. Today we're actually going to be uh, watching the anime and going over each little detail. Now I've already seen the first season and I've read ahead in the manga, so I know a little bit of things. So I may dare announce some spoilers throughout the video. Video. So if you do not want spoilers for this anime, no, do do not continue. Now, guys, if you don't know, the Beastars stars is an anime that probably awakened a lot of furries. It's about the it's about the story of Lagoshi and his his uh. His mental conflicts of him being a carnivore and him living among herbivores, and now he's in love with an herbivore named Haru. Now, well, we're going to be uh, <clears throat> uh, starting with episode one. It's a very odd anime. So, I'm going to watch, we're going to watch and talk throughout the video, so here we go. Plus Ultra. <laughs> that was the moment I discovered the small rabbit and my instincts. Now, now that little scene right there was that little scene was just basically the intro to the whole fucking thing. Like, the basic concept of it. It was supposed to introduce you what this world entails. About how herb uh, everyone's an animal and they basically have all their basic primal instincts. Imagine if humans, like animals, evolved to the human state in mind, but they still have their primal instincts in place. Like, they can only, herbivores can only eat plants while carnivores can, you know, have to eat certain kinds of meat. You know, and uh, they uh, they they have an explanation of how they coexist in this, but they're um, we'll get into that later. <laughs> Quick uh, note: this anime is kind of fucked. your classmate we were always in the same class together yes i can't hear you like what all right well i'm gonna be recording Yeah. So, we're just food after all. For you carnivores, is that how it is? Say something, I, I didn't read it. So, we're. Shit, I'm trying to read the sign. Lecture overview mutual understanding between species. The irony! <laughs> oh, yeah, I should probably speed this up. Are all monsters, every one of you! This alley prevents copyright issue. We've already seen all the all the uh, this first the season anyway, so. Get one. Devoured? See, uh, 
herbivore devoured. This is a concept that they have. It's a constant rule they have to uh, they have. Uh, let's continue. Did you hear? It was Tem from Drama Club. I know. But else, he was in your club. We just rehearsed together yesterday. I bet a carnivore student was responsible. Well, we can't be sure it was a student. The thing is, it has to be a carnivore. There's nobody else who could do it. It's pretty obvious it was a carnivore. Sorry to say, but isn't it ironic that a drama student was murdered and eaten? Drama Club was one of the only places where carnivores and herbivores got along. You have to be really careful, else. There is a gray wolf in that club of yours, isn't that right? <sighs> well, this sure is ruining my appetite. Same here. I guess they, they, they I, my assumption of why they chose a gray wolf, not for the same fact that, the, that because there's, you know, Lagoshi is the main character, but I think it's because, because they're both, what was their name? What was his species? Um, what are their species? They're, they're lambs, aren't they? Or are they goats? I don't remember. The, or llamas. They're llamas. And llama, one, I think one of their, uh, what is Tim's species? I don't even remember. Tim's species. A B stars. I can never, I can never figure out what he exactly is. He's an alpaca. That's what he is. He's an alpaca. And she was also an alpaca. A different type, I think. I guess I do. Um. Alpacas predators. Alpaca. Predators. Okay, particularly their alpacas prey are mountain lions, coyotes, and bears. So I don't think I wonder why they chose that one wolf because there's many other predators in there that would probably be more likely. This sucks. Tell me about it. The performance is in two weeks, right? We need to find a replacement for Tem. Yeah. I mean, how do we do that? One of our classmates just died. Uh oh. I still can't believe that it's true. What's Louis doing? A leader meeting. Are you okay, Els? Yeah. I like how they're trying to portray that Lagoshi is some kind of creepy motherfucker. But he's not. He's just... Everyone here? Gather around, please. You know how... Wait. You know how they say they have the resting bitch face? This is the resting creep face. And he just can't help himself. He naturally looks intimidating to herbivores. I'm sure you all know by now. Something terrible happened here at school. You know, technically speaking, he can be... Th this teacher can be classified as a carnivore because pelicans eat fish. This morning... One of the actors, Tem. Huh? 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 But, sir, you know that Tem was closely involved with the carnivores in this club. S so? Are you accusing us of something? Maybe someone got jealous since he was recently cast in a good role. You know what? You've got a lot of nerve. That's exactly why I can't stand her before. Oh, wanna fight? Hey, I can't. I have, to, I have to say about the animation, it's pretty well done because 3D uh, animes tend to not really look so good, to my opinion. Uh, I personally never liked. 3D animes, but this is one that actually looked good, and I was actually skeptical to watch this anime for a while when I, before I actually watched it, and I got really into it. Um, but it is really good. And, um... Now, if you notice that there's a conflict already started between the herbivores and the carnivores, and there's always that little twinge but there's always that little di d division in them it's kind of a race thing it's kind of a race issue thing crap these walnuts where's lego she no, it's not lego she's job to be a nutcracker you know but it's true lego she's not here wonder what could have happened i'm scared it's like those eyes were looking at prey i swear that wolf is telling me that i'm next oh come on lego she's a bit strange that's all it is if you want anything, come by my room anytime. Lemurs are always cheerful and fun to be around. Okay, she's a lemur, and I think she speaks the truth when she knows uh, when it comes to that. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Yeah, good night. 
She's speaking the truth though. The ghost she's just weird. Go away. You pretend to be my friend just so you can eat me when you get hungry? Don't underestimate me! I'll use this! Tim and I are tougher than you think! You should have this. It's a love letter. It's for you. I was waiting around out here until you were alone. You wanted to give this to me? Hmm. I knew that he never got the chance to give it to you himself. Sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything to you at all. Mm -mm. I appreciate it. Well, I gotta go. Like that he so so you know that he and Tim are very good friends. Hey, I um, I said some bad things about you. The truth is, you're a generous wolf. I'll make sure everyone knows. Please forgive me. Forget about it. No need. But why? I feel sorry that Tem's first love was revealed after he died. I know, and I understand that, but it's just not fair to you. It wouldn't really change anyone's opinion anyways. I'll be just fine. Feared and hated. That's the story of my life. Lagoshi isn't a creep. He's just an idiot, and he's also, um, he's also very, very depressed. He's very depressed. He's so awkward. <sighs> Back to the drawing board? It's just not the right time. Uh, don't worry. I'll wait for the perfect moment to tell her my feelings. Tem, I told her. Look, it's Louie! It's Doris Adler! This is on stage and in real life! Okay, now this motherfucker is pretty awesome. He has kind of a... I think he has a carnivore fetish that was deprived from his childhood. His gestures, his voice, and his gaze. He must have it all down. Of course he does. It's Louis. He's only a year older than me, and he's the lead actor and pretty much runs the school. You're staring. Oh, sorry. Is rudeness something that's inherent in wolves? You're the pup in the art department. I've got a task for you to do. Come on. Sure. <laughs> Now, here we go, introducing this character, Haru. <laughs> Boy, in school. Sorry, you okay? The wind must have blown it over. Of course you're fine. There's always a boy who will come along and rescue you, right? <laughs> they were pretty blooms. Uh, student ID, Lagoshi. Classification, Canis Lupus. I'm fine. You guys can't hurt me, so I don't know why you even bother trying. Huh? <gasps> Maybe you would just rather move out then! <laughs> <sighs> this is ridiculous. <sighs> Mattresses for rabbits are really that small? Huh? I'll give you a hand with that. I would. That's hot. He's a very small horse. Or is he a donkey, mule? I don't know what he is, but he has this very small body. Thanks, but I can do it myself. He's a pony. He's a pony. That's what he is. Three down to become a loner beast? One, two, three, ten letters. I just realized she has a sign poster from Louie. If you notice, it's spelled with an R and not an L, because that's the way it Sally, is in the manga. you could have stopped them if you were here. She's kind of pissed off right now. It's best that you leave her be for a bit. Thanks for the warning. You want to get some dinner? Like with you? I think I'll pass. Okay. Ten letters to become a loner beast. 
Is it carnivores? Ostracized. Ostracized. That's it. Thanks a lot, Haru. Uh, whatever. Uh, can I sit there? Sorry, I'm saving a spot for my friend. Hey, uh, mind if I sit here? <sighs> Doesn't matter where I sit, delicious food is still delicious. Wow, I am impressed. The whole school's ignoring you, and yet you sit here still so strong, Haru. A little risky, wouldn't you say? For a bunny rabbit like you to sit alone after that student was devoured like your lunch. <sighs> Suddenly, the food doesn't taste so good. Rather than spreading rumors about me, maybe concentrate on getting back together with your boyfriend. Huh? Who do you think you are? None of that is Actually, your... he's the one who kissed me. Besides, a guy who gets excited over one little kiss kind of tells you something, doesn't it? Excuse me. <laughs> Don't forget, my boyfriend and I are both Harlequin rabbits, which makes us an endangered species couple. You okay, I remember what that impl I remember that concept. There's a they try to stick with species. That's actually going to be made more apparent later on in the series about species. Uh, I do know that in the future that there's going to be more in the future seasons. There's going to be more more about that. I will probably be talking ahead in the manga because I've already finished the manga. I couldn't wait for the anime. You are nothing compared to us. A common dwarf rabbit who's trying to destroy a couple with obvious pedigree. I guess I'm just going to have to tell everyone at school that you're fooling around with other guys. Let's go. Oh, Louis. Have his costume fitted by tomorrow's rehearsal. What? Zoe is Tem's replacement. We selected him at yesterday's leaders meeting. Right? Y yes. How ironic to see you here. Odie the water spirit. Huh? We're rehearsing. Give me Odie's lines. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I haven't learned it. What is it? Open wide. L Louis. Now, now. Don't tell me you went and ate that script. That is all that goats like you are good for, isn't it? Eating paper? This isn't the place to go around showing off, you know. I'll memorize it by tomorrow. I promise. Louis! Zoe doesn't deserve being Tem's replacement. I was runner-up at the auditions, so... Don't you knock... Now get out, and memorize the script. Okay. Hey, what are you doing in here? Don't you just work on the stage crew? Uh, well, I guess I better get going too. No, you stay. Kai, you and Legoshi need to get along. You two will be working together in the art department. Huh? We made a decision during the meeting. You're off the actor's team. Uh, You'll support us by working behind the scenes in the public relations sector of the art department. Hey! Huh? Did everyone complete their warm-ups? Spring Breeze, second act choreography. Winter Safari Tournament, final dance. I know that those two references stab you like a dagger. Right, Kai? Those two particular blunders of yours, the most memorable ones in the past two years, not exactly a good legacy for an actor. I am curious about one thing. How could you possibly think you could replace Tam? Actor safety first. That's the job of the stagehands, right? Kai, he's the star. Who the heck do you think you are? <gasps> uh. What? Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, I'll let it go at least this time. Must be nice being rich. Nothing ever harms you. What are you looking at? In the manga, he was actually afraid of Lagoshi. Showing your fangs as a means to actually avoid a fight? How curious. I figured he was a quiet tree. But you have a savage in you. Excuse me. Excellent. You seem like you are going to fit right in. Listen, we'll sneak into the theater later tonight and rehearse the scenes with Zoe. What? But what if we were to get caught? That's why you're going to be the lookout. What's wrong? You gonna turn it down and put on some kind of good guy act? Disappointing. Then what if I were to offer you one of my legs? You'd salivate and happily accept, am I right? Mm -hmm. You're a wolf. Take advantage of that. Let's see your dark side. It's dry enough. All the guys take one look at me and tell me they want to protect me. Horror uh, hates that concept. She doesn't like being the one who wants to be protected. Although this is exactly how she's going to be treated in the future. Like annoying pests. When they realize their fantasy was wrong, they just run away. 
I've been living my life as a plaything for all kinds of guys. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Look out. If we get caught, Drama Club's gonna get shut down. And then I'd get suspended. Hmm. Come on, guys, hurry up. Security's been patrolling a lot ever since the incident. Hey there, little guy. What are you doing out here? Well, that's what I should be asking myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Notice that how he's mostly gentle. who are victorious are those who can act upon their instincts like that and yet still exist in this world i'm not even good enough to be a loser you should just take me i don't care anymore but even with this sad life i still had a reason to run i cried because i was scared even i experienced all those things but will you understand And that's the end of episode one. So, this was the introduction of everything, really. It was the how everything was supposed to play out. And how it was meant to happen. And how it was meant to happen and how basically he fell in love with the rabbit because he secretly wanted to eat her as well. And, be and I don't know why that sparked it in him, but I th it is clarified in the manga that he does have a fetish for herbivores. And that is so weird now. And um, I hopefully you guys will um, understand the co why I, I think this is a a pretty good a, a pretty good anime. But uh, and maybe you guys want to see if you guys want to see more B stars. If there's other anime you want me to review or uh, or discuss, we'll be going down that road. So this anime here is a very awesome anime, and they have a really unique world. The uh, the writer Paru has a uh, really knew what she, what she uh, I believe she is doing. So yeah, all right, anyway, guys, bye bye.